India's Chandrayaan series of lunar exploration missions are highly prestigious and the country's most successful series of exploratory missions. To tell us about the latest approvals that the LUPEX or Indo-Japanese lunar exploration mission has got, we're joined by Dr. Narayanan, Chairman Isro. Sir, congratulations on this approval. So what does LUPEX mean? What is LUPEX and what will India and Japan do? Actually, before going to LUPEX, let me start the Chandrayaan program by itself. Uh, you know, the first interplanetary mission was, our mission was Chandrayaan 1 which found water molecules on the moon and made every Indian proud. Second program, second program is the Chandrayaan 2. We wanted to soft land. But then in Chandrayaan 1, we also put our moon impact probe on the moon. Chandrayaan 2 was supposed to be a soft landing mission, but we didn't successfully soft land, but there is an orbiter revolving around the moon, which is having eight payloads pumping so much of scientific data and there is an on-orbit high resolution camera, which is the best of its type in the moon's orbit, giving moon's atlas so much. And the data also was used for Chandrayaan-3. Chandrayaan-3 mission was a soft landing mission. And India becoming the first country and only one country till today successfully soft land near the south pole of moon. And we are the fourth country to soft land on the moon and first country to soft land near the south pole of moon. Chandrayaan-4, we have got the approval and we, have worked, we are working. It is not like Chandrayaan-3. Chandrayaan-3 is a soft landing, but here it is a sample return mission. We are going to land on the moon, take sample, and bring back. Land means it is our module which will land and take sample and come back. Now, Chandrayaan-5, our Lupex mission, is yet another important mission. You know, when Chandrayaan-3 was successful, all other countries started believing India, that India has got high capability. And JAXA team, Japan team, they wanted a collaboration. Now, Government of India has approved. It is a joint program, and the launch will take place by Russian rocket, uh, sorry, Japan's uh, rocket, and we are going to build the total lander, our rover, everything. And I will tell you one example. The rover, what came out of Chandrayaan-3 was 25 kg mass. Here, 350 kg mass is the type of rover, and the life is also going to be more. So there are interchange of technologies. Rather, it is going to be built jointly by India and Japan together. It is a huge program and lander mass is almost four times of Chandrayaan-3 lander and it will be a joint program. So that program is very recently approved by Honorable Prime Minister and the Government of India. So LUPEX essentially means Lunar Polar Exploration Mission. So you are going to look at water distribution in the Lunar South Pole. So perhaps in future humans can stay there? Uh, yeah, you are perfectly right. Uh, in fact, I didn't go in depth, you know, you are having good knowledge. And it is the, mainly for that type of purpose to understand, do you have water molecules? You know, Honorable Prime Minister is already giving direction to us to work on uh, landing on the moon. And future, if somebody has to stay there, we have to understand what type of minerals are there, what type of characteristics, what type of thermal profile, and what type of uh, water molecules to what level, we have to quantify. We have discovered now how much quantity of water molecules, all those things has to be done. So all those things will be really achieved through this type of mission, and it is a long mission. What stage are we in with regards to LUPEX or Chandrayaan-5? And by when do we expect things to materialize? No, Chandrayaan-5 or LUPEX, right now in, we have completed the configuration studies. Now the design teams are being formed and design is going to take place. <coughs> Maybe another two and a half years to three years this will be accomplished. So fundamentally the difference between Chandrayaan-4 and 5 will be that 4 will go there and bring back samples for us to study <coughs> and 5 will stay there and then tell us more about water on the moon. You are right, water and other aspects. So, sir, all the very best for uh, this ambitious mission such as Chandrayaan-4 and Chandrayaan-5. But before Chandrayaan-4, one thing we'll need to master is docking around Earth, docking around the moon, and then traveling all the way back from moon to Earth. Yeah. Tell us more about that. No, when you take about Chandrayaan-5 mission, Chandrayaan-4, the mass of the satellite is around 4,000 kg. Here, the mass of the satellite is 9,500 kg, that type of order. So. We are planning to lift the satellite in two modules using our GSLV rocket. Because otherwise we have to develop a huge rocket that is not required. And then dock in the space, go to moon's orbit, then remove, de-dock some portion and land on the moon, take the sample and return back and get docked and entire module has to come towards the uh, Earth surface. From Earth surface, the relevant portion should get de-docked and come back. Now, towards this, if you see, multiple times docking, de-docking is required. So, to demonstrate that capability only, we have done the SpaceX experiment. And I'm happy to report to the viewers that it was a grand, successful mission. But only thing, 
please understand we are going step by step. Don't expect the result tomorrow day after. Not required. We have loaded each satellite 55 5 kg propellant, only uh, 1.5 kg each is consumed. And we are going to do multiple experiments over years and we are going to bring the result. Right now, one docking is successfully done, one de-docking is successfully done, and now power transfer, so many work has to be done. And step by step, we are moving forward. So that was ISRO chief Dr. Narayanan telling us that the SpadeX process or the SpadeX mission space docking is a step by step process and it will happen gradually. Now docking and undocking has happened. Next it's going to be electrical power transfer and then redocking and then again undocking and so on and so forth. From Chennai Siddhartha MP, we on World is One.